And Patrick, guess what? Apple's done a pretty good job kind of quietly over the last year of, of getting all of us to spend five bucks here on video games, 10 bucks on Apple News Plus. Oh yeah, five bucks on this, 25 bucks on iCloud. They've got a pretty good little su subscription license business going, do they not? Well, it's just so easy. I mean, all you have to do is, is hit a put button. your... <laughs> hit a button, uh, look at the phone, and, and you're in. $5 a month. And when you look... When you really think about the type of buyers that Apple has, I mean, Apple owns the premium space, and not just in the U.S., but, but globally. And they're still making 90 to 90 percent of the industry's profits. And these folks, $5 a month is a no-brainer for them, which, which is why I'm pretty bullish on Apple TV Plus and Apple Arcade. Yeah, but listen, it's not five bucks a month. To your point, if you're, if you're a true Apple fanboy and you've got all your iPhones and your Apple TVs and all this other stuff, you got five here. You got, you got five for Apple TV, so there's 10. 10 bucks a month for Apple News Plus, so there's 20. Uh, I think Apple Music is, is 15 bucks a month if you've got a family plan, so there's 35. And then let's say you, know, you, do the, you, you do iCloud storage, which is whatever, 99 bucks a year, so amortize that to eight bucks. Pretty soon you're paying Apple 40 to $50 a month just without even thinking about it. It is. And, and the point that, that at least U.S. consumers start to really think about it is around that $50 uh, per month. And, you know, the research that we've done even shows that there's been a little bit of fatigue even amongst Apple users. Less amongst Apple users, definitely on Android users. So I think we're reaching that wouldn't call it a danger point, but a point at which Apple really needs to think about how it does it. Now, what I'm expecting to come next after, at least in Apple's mind, they've optimized their service is an all-in Apple plan where you take yep. every one of those services that you talked about, bundle them together, and, and put a discount on it. And in the end, I think this is less about service business revenue and more about the Apple lock-in because Apple's making more than any other manufacturer clearly on iPhones. And if they can lock, not just you, but family, right? We think of family plans yeah. on the services as this great deal. Well, what that's about is get locking the entire family into their services and their devices. Yeah, and if you if you bought like I have, like you know, ding dong that I am, I bought all these songs on Apple Music. They're not playing anywhere else. <clears throat> I, am, I am into that iCloud ecosystem probably for the rest of my life. It's not a bad one, by well, the way. Right. I'm not knocking it. It's a high-quality right. service, and you got Spotify and stuff. I'm just saying, even if you wanted to switch, you probably can't. It is, and that's, that's the key here. And even though the smartphone market uh, is limping along, I mean, it's declining, declining flat. If we do flat this year, I, I think it will be fine. And, you know... For Apple, it really is smart because we're in this uncomfortable zone in between massive iPhone growth <clears throat> and then in the future augmented reality and, and automotive yeah. technologies and experience. And I, I really think this is about Apple bridging the gap. And I, I do think they still have a ways to go. And even with Apple TV Plus, they only need one hit. And I think the way the consumer is going to justify this is by saying – you know, five ninety nine. That's about what it costs per month to rent one movie, right? Five ninety nine for all of this content, for one show that I like. All they need is one Handmaid's genius. Tale. It's like genius, we have and they got the cash. By the way, they got the cash to do it. And listen, you know, we didn't really get into arcade that much, but we did a segment on this show, maybe with you, about a year ago, about how I thought because I played Crossy Road on my Apple TV about a year and a half ago. I'm not kidding, <laughs> right. and I'm thinking I'm playing Crossy Road Frogger. On a 70-inch flat panel television, this is the future, and now they've, they're rolling out arcade, and maybe we'll play head-to-head -head one time. Patrick Moorhead, thank you very much.